Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the navigation data frame structure. Remember to get the entire nav message, as we call it, across from the satellite to the receiver. The satellite needs to send a total of 25 frames. Each frame contains data that both needs to be repeated every 30 seconds for updates and contains data of the entire GPS satellite system and that only needs to be updated every 12 and a half minutes not 12 and a half seconds but 12 and a half minutes so the the frame is divided into what we call five subframes the first three subframes are utilized to give satellite data of the individual satellite that the receiver is receiving the message from and then the last two subframes are used for the system data for all the space vehicles the almanac for the space vehicles plus ionosphere data, plus UTC data, which then gets updated every 12 and a half minutes. Notice that, notice that each subframe has 300 bits contained with it. So we have five subframes adding up to the total of 1500 bits that belongs to a single frame. Of course, there's 25 frames for the complete message. Since it takes 30 seconds to transmit a single frame, each subframe then takes about six seconds, well, not about six seconds, it takes exactly six seconds to send the data of a subframe. So notice that in the satellite data, the first three subframes contain the ephemeris of the satellite that we're communicating with. It includes clock corrections, and those are extremely important. It is the clock corrections that allow the receiver to know exactly where the receiver is at. And that's why they need to be updated every 30 seconds, because after about 30 seconds, the clock corrections become outdated, and we need new clock corrections and new ephemeris data of the satellite so that we know the exact position of the satellite, well, as exact as we can get it. Notice this data can be a little bit more outdated. The ionosphere doesn't change as quickly. This is based on an ionospheric model, but that data does get updated every 12 and a half minutes, the clock data, the UTC data, and the almanac of all the space vehicles, which of course doesn't need to be updated nearly as often. Notice that is then the message contained within each frame. And now we'll go on the next video, look into more detail what is within each subframe and the data enclosed within that. So stay tuned and now we'll dive down to each subframe to see how the structure is set up for each individual subframe in the frame data.